So, yes, uh, just letting you guys know, yes, I got this plushie for Christmas. And I know this is, like, the one thing y'all, my hero fans, want to see. So, yes, it's been, like, three months since I did a My Hero Academia plushie unboxing. I want to say it was, like, around, like, September, which was on the Funko Araka plush. And I gotta say, and, yes, this is actually her UA training outfit with, uh, the same face scan and all of that from the other plushie, like the hero outfit one, so yes, uh, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag, cause, um, yes, it's kind of like an unboxing, cause I have, I had this in the bag for, like, since Christmas, so let's just go ahead and get her, get her out of the bag, shall we, in three, two, one, alrighty, guys, here she is out of the bag, she got the pink shoes, the John Cena wristbands. But yes, uh, let's go ahead and take the tag off and give it a review. In 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So here she is with all the plushie. I mean, not the plushie, I mean the tag. And yes, this will be part of January's unboxings. Like, for one of the, the compilation parts. And the full January unboxing compilation. But, anyway guys, this plushie is going to get a 100 out of a 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, so yes, this is going to be an unwrapping video on another Happy Meal toy. Um, yes, I know I did an unboxing like this morning. But I want to do one today, well... Mostly unwrapping, because, you know, it's a Happy Meal toy from 2020. And just letting you guys know, yes, this will be part of January's unboxing compilation for next month. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this out and see what it is. Three, two, one. So, I got the Disney Pixar Happy Meal toy keychains. So, we got Toy 5 from Inside Out. Joy. Uh, yes, I talked about the movie, like, in two videos, which was a month ago. But this was, this, ugh. I'm sorry if I'm not, I'm not speaking that well. But this released three years ago at McDonald's. So let's go ahead and get her out of the bag. Shall we? Okay, guys. Here she is out of the bag. And this... Uh, review this unwrapping. It's going to get a 100 out of a 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, I bought this from Mikari. And yes, it's actually going to be a Funko Dorbs related. Because it's been two years... Since I made a video about Dorbs. But anyway guys. uh, Let's see who I get. In 3, 2, 1. Okay guys. So we got the Funko Dorbs. Funko Shop Exclusive. Number 493. Captain America. If you can... And tell, uh, yes, this is actually from Endgame. Uh, there's only three figures in the set. You get Captain America, Hulk, and Thanos. So, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. Okay, guys. So, here he is out of the packaging. Um, yes, this is actually his, um... Time traveling suit from the movie. Uh, I have not seen. I've seen a little bit of in game, a little bit, and yes, they put a lot of details on the figure, but I don't get why they didn't like 
sculpt like engraved the A, but I guess they didn't have time to do that. Now let's go ahead and give it a review. I'm gonna give it a a hundred out of a hundred. But yes, guys, again, it's been two years since I did a Dorbs unboxing. I think it was on the Iron Spider one from Infinity War. But again, uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yes, guys, I am doing another Qtopia review. Now, the one I did was like 10 days ago, which was Leonardo from New and Mayhem, which was last week. We reviewed that one. And this one we're going to review, yep, Spider-Man. Uh, so, yep, uh, the, uh, little Rebs and the outfit is just printed, print, print on, like, printed on the plushie. The limbs, like, the little limbs are, like, stitched up but yep uh anyway guys so here is the back the front and let's go ahead and take the tag off and give it a review and three two one i thought i paused it hold on and if y'all want to know how i got this one i also Got it from Walgreens too yesterday. And yes, this plushie is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'm sorry if I'm not speaking like the right words that well, because well, I kind of go a little too fast, and I'm sorry for that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, Selena said in my next plushie unboxing, I could unbox Applejack, which that's what I'm doing right now. So, Selena, thank you for um, the suggest suggestion. I don't know how you say it. I know how to say suggest, but the other word is hard to explain. But... Uh, thanks for the request on the unboxing. Well, she didn't actually request the unboxing. I actually request her to see who I could unbox, like Rarity or Applejack. She chose Applejack. So I might unbox Rarity like tomorrow or after New Year's. So anyway, let's go ahead and get a little Applejack out of the bag. Which um, is literally an unboxing, so eh. Okay, guys, so here she is out of the bag. Uh, look at the little tail. She got a little cute bow on it. So let's go ahead and take the little tag off and give it a review, shall we? In three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Here is Apple Jack without the tag on. And this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another video. And happy Monday. Also, happy New Year's Day, everybody. For 2024. So yep. I know y'all are a bit excited for this. The WWE. Mattel. Basic. Series 142. Hulk Hogan. Um. Yes I found this really weird. To find him wearing blue. Because he normally wears red and yellow. But I think. 
blue is a good color for him. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. In three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, here he is out of the box. And no, the shirt is not removable. But yes, um, I like the new articulation, like I said. Because, well, the base, the old big basics, because you can see they got the pegs and the elbow joints and the feet. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So, yes, um, Hulk Hogan here came with one little accessory. It's like his little headband, which I didn't know it was removable. And, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, this review is going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a great new year. Okay, guys. So, yes, um, I am getting a chance to unbox the Rarity plush, because two days ago, actually, no, wait, three days ago, I unboxed Applejack, and here we are with Rarity. So, yep, uh, here she is in the bag, and let's go ahead and get Rarity out of the bag in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, yes, this is a Toy Factory plush, just like the Applejack and Rainbow Dash one I reviewed. So, yep, uh, pretty well, pretty nice detailed. Pretty cute. Um... Yeah, very, very well detailed. Now, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. And three, two, one. Here is Rarity without the tag on. And no, you can't move her hair at all. Like, see, I was on this side. You can't move it move it at all because uh well yeah it sewed on pretty well but anyway this plush unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred hope you guys like comment subscribe